Oh, Hello and welcome back to Chamber of Secrets Part 10, and we are still denoming at, uh, at Harry's pump, at Hagrid's pumpkin patch. Now, this is the take that I actually successfully do this, so I don't really need to go over all of it, but yeah. Uh, much like the uh, the denoming at uh, the Weasley's at the Weasley's farm, uh, if you manage to successfully hit all four targets, it'll count as a complete run of the game, and you'll get a uh, Witch of the Wizards card for it. Yay. However, doing this is, you know, significantly more difficult than it looks like because of how inconsistent the power-up system honestly is. <laughs> well, wide hitboxes definitely mitigate the... Yes, wide hitboxes help, but, you know, uh, controller, de uh, controller delays do not. Oh, God. If I had to delay on a game where I had to be semi-precise like this, I would be pissed. It's only a small delay, uh, delay for me, and I'm, able, and, and I'm able to, uh, and I'm able to compensate for it. But I remember specifically having problems with, uh, with my trying to do it uh, for this part. There was a uh, post on uh, Dorkly a while back asking why there isn't the uh, Skyrim-style RPG for uh, Harry Potter and the Wizarding World. And I actually have a rather interesting uh, explanation as to why that is. Go on. If you recall, in, uh, for the PS2 versions <laughs> of uh, Chamber of Secrets and Prisoner of Azkaban, the, the castle of, for Hogwarts was actually very much an open world. It, it was, yeah. There were, there were like... Hogwarts was like... Hogwarts was like the hub world, where from there you could go to all the different secret rooms, and um, all the... And, and basically, like, a lot of the... A lot of the areas on the grounds, like the the classrooms or the forbidden woods or the great hall or, or the or the dormitories, like all the all those were there. And yeah, I would I would say it's semi open world because you can kind of pick and choose what you want to do. That is, of course, until the linear the linear story story pulls you out of it. Yeah, and you remember what? And you remember that there weren't actually all that many um, activities to do outside of the linear story. There were there were collectibles. The, just yeah, just I, like I in remember, this game, were... I don't even remember there being collectibles for Chamber of Secrets. I think I think there were collectibles for Prisoner of Azkaban, but I yeah. The collectibles in the in the PS2 port of well, not um, it's not really a port. It's more like a. The PS2 Chambers game had the witches and the the witches and wizard cards too. Okay, and that was about just it. You, around. They're hidden around. You have to do stuff. You you get them. You collect them all. You win the game. Okay. I don't even think I actually successfully beat the PS2 Chamber of Secrets. I think I got stuck on the final boss or something. That's odd. Cause as far as I remember, the Chamber of Secrets, the PS2 final boss is very much the same as the uh, PlayStation One final boss. It's down to you, Harry. Catching the snitch is the only way we're going to win. You've got to beat Malfoy. I can't shake this bludger. What's going on? It's a rogue bludger, Harry. Someone's tampered with this bludger. There's the golden snitch. Malfoy's on it, and Potter's chasing. There they go after the snitch. It's heading for the stand! Get ready for player control! I've lost sight of them! And here's another vehicle section. This was taken straight from the movie. Yeah. Because in I the mean, book... The whole game is actually much more a reference to the movie than it is a book. Although, it, go it does a few things that, that, the movie, that the book does that the movie does not do. I remember this up and down. Avoid the rafters. Th this is this is all legal Quidditch, by the way. This this is yeah. this is perfectly this is perfectly acceptable in a sanctioned game. <laughs> no, it's just like in football. You can you can ride you can ride the the out of bounds line as long as you can, just as long as both feet are in bounds at all times. And we have broken Malfoy's broom, apparently. And Malfoy is dead. And now that he's dead, we can successfully win this game. <laughs> now, Quidditch is mostly no holds barred. 
it gets pretty it gets pretty bloody even even in even for these kids like they they get pretty fucked up <laughs> yeah i mean just look at just look at what happens to harry in this story yeah harry's arm harry's arm gets broken then liquefied by a fucking retard i mean mind you the the retarded liquefaction was outside of the game the game was over but he still broke his arm on a on a possessed bludger I also Actually, never really... I never figured out, is it... Do you think that a bludger is, like, an enchanted object, or is it some kind of creature that's trapped inside of a ball? It is actually both of those things, believe it or not. Huh. It is both an enchanted object and, uh, and, a, uh, and a slightly fiendish creature. Well, it definitely has a mind of its own, like, like an evil creature. Unlike Harry's stupid fingers. <laughs> there we go. Ah, got the snitch. Fuck you, Malfoy. Ah, yellow. Yellow, but why? <laughs> oh. Because plot. Harry's arm was uh, because plot. Because my uh, my uh, video card wasn't rendering it properly. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to gradually shift to uh, to a sepia photo and then uh, and then continue the story on from there. But uh, yeah, that did not happen. And spread all the way down to his fingertips. His arm didn't hurt anymore, nor did it feel remotely like an arm. Ah. Yes. Fuck you, Gilderoy. Uh, well, that can sometimes Pesky, pixie, so, Harry, pester, not me. Brachium. Himendo! The next moment, Dumbledore and McGonagall were backing into the room, carrying what looked like a statue. Together, they heaved it onto a bed. It means that the chamber that's, of secrets that's supposed to be Colin, right? That's Colin Creevy, yeah. Okay. He's supposed to be holding his camera, too. ...together the ingredients for the polyjuice potion. As soon as your arm is better, I think you should go to Diagon Alley. It was half-term by the time Harry's arm was better. Okay, they're, they're 12 at the time, so Harry might have had mixed feelings about this suggestion. Harry met Hagrid in Diagon Alley. And there is Hagrid's belt. Yep. <laughs> Diagon Alley. Diagonally. We already had that plot point. Um, yes, we did. <laughs> what is the point of this animation? <laughs> well, the show off the Diagon Alley is a place that we were able to successfully to successfully Go and get your supplies, Harry. I'm going to the pub to meet Be you sure to find that Ravenclaw girl that, that was in the foreground for the past 15 seconds. Earmuffs. Gone bird watching in Wales. Now, uh, every single one of the stores that you cannot enter actually has an interesting tidbit on their door. I don't <laughs> show most of them off, sadly. But, Harry, yeah, they're kind of cool. Place to make the polyjuice potion, Moaning Myrtle's bathroom in the upper castle. Come as soon as you have all the ingredients. Yours, Hermione. You didn't follow the script, Hermione. We apologize to our Harry does not return to Diagon Alley. He stays at school for the winter. The whole time. <laughs> nice earmuffs, Potter. Did your mum make them for you? Oh, I am sorry. I forgot. Malfoy, you're almost as funny as Filch. Now get out of my way. All right, Four Eyes. Oh, by the way, I've left a nice surprise for you in this shop. Enjoy. And again, fuck you, Malfoy. He shat in a basket, for God's sake. No, somebody, no, he did not. Somebody teach this child manners. Somebody's released a gang of pixies in my shop, and they're wrecking the place. I'll give you anything you need if you can stop them before they destroy my shop. Well, you don't do something about it. Because he doesn't have his wand on him for some reason. <laughs> for some reason. So why do you think they had you return to Diagon Alley, even though it's just a complete fucking detour? Well, it's not actually. We're here for we're here to pick up uh, Polyjuice ingredients, dude. Right. Something that does happen in the story is they get all the, not, the ingredients for the Poly Potion. 
Yeah, but in, I think uh, in the movie it's implied they just stole them from Snape. But they stole them from Snape and they got the hairs from Crab and Goyle. Yeah. On school grounds. Not, yeah, but not in the, Diagon Alley. <laughs> how did they get them in the book? In the book, did they steal them from Snape? Have you got any leads? In the book, like Hermione had like all but done everything except for collect the hairs. She she did it all basically by herself. Yeah, but how? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know if the book explains. <laughs> See? This way this this way this actually has an explanation. Harry did it, but he had to go to Diagon Alley to get the shit. Yeah, he. I, I, I kind of like this spin, actually. Harry's not a thief. He's actually a very honest uh, hero type character who does good good things and gets rewards in return. I do indeed have some lacewing flies in stock, but they move too quickly for me to catch. They're hiding in one of these boxes. If you can catch five for me, I'll let you keep them. You need to collect all the flies within the time limit. That is only the first of the two failure states for this particular minigame. If you oh, break no. too much of his sh if you break too much of his shit, he, uh, he also kicks you out. <laughs> and you have to try it again. Like, why do you keep this in your inventory? Do you make all your customers do this? Not all, but you know, anyone that wants the least nice. Yeah, and I'm sure I'm sure he can spot a lot of his customers pretty quickly because they're all they're all carrying rifles and crates. <laughs> And cages. <laughs> and big wide brim hats. <laughs> now, why do you assume that all of his uh, all of his customers are going on safari? Well, I would because I would say that Harry's on a safari right now. He's 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 hunting down creatures. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. yeah. Well done. You've collected all the flies. I certainly won't be missing them. Now, buzz off. Well, thank you too. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, and fuck you too. Good day. Happy fucking. <laughs> and there we go. Our detour to Diagon Alley is mostly complete. Just gotta be back up with you. Only shot of great gods. Today is a goblin bank holiday. <laughs> Goblin Bank Holiday. It's Monday, isn't it? I don't think so. I think I think a Goblin Bank Holiday is honestly uh, more reserved for uh, whatever uh, whatever class system that the goblins have in place. Well, goblins normally have a lord. Well done getting all the ingredients. We'll have to we'll have to consult the goblin lords. Powdered horn of bicorn. Yes, but I had to sneak into Snape's office last night to get it. She wouldn't get me creeping about in Snape's office, especially at night. Here's the fluxweed and knotgrass. And here are the boomslang skin, lace wings, and leeches. Yay! Yay! Yeah, hey. Potions ready. I'm afraid we still need some extra ingredients. Something from Crab and Goyle. I've already managed to get some hair from Millicent Bulstrode. I hope you're not saying that you're going to turn us into Crab, Goyle, and Millicent Bulstrode. Well, Crab and Goyle in particular are the only people Malfoy trusts. He'll tell them anything. You do want to find out whether Malfoy's the heir of Slytherin, don't you? Do we oh, have to turn into Crab and Goyle, though? Can't I we turn into in some of the Slytherin hot chicks? That's all. Of course it will. Well, Ron, that would place the burden of seduction like on these like young boys I've got a bad with other boys. And they're pretty on, sure that it will feel just a little weird. And not like... And not like and not like Morpheus about to plug Neo into the Matrix weird, I mean like fucking, like, some like it hot level of strange. <laughs> yeah. Shut up, Myrtle. Shut up, Myrtle, nobody likes you. That is an awesome, that is an awesome afterlife. And then you turn into a pervert 